Today we fly a fighter jet. I'm just kidding. Today is another day without a plan. Um, I think I'm gonna leave Abbotsford and go to Langley, BC. Um, apparently there's a flight museum there, so I like planes. Planes are cool. Planes fly. I don't fly. I saw online somewhere that there's this place, it's called Claiborne, that's a ghost town. This is Claiborne. It's very much not a ghost town. There's there's people, there's cars, there's houses, there's stores, there's shops. It's not a ghost town, it's a town. I eat pears now. Shout out to all the pears. I just passed an antique shop and it looked really funky. So I'm gonna turn around and go take a look at what's up with that antique shop. Let's see if we can find like an Adventure Carl mascot or something. Is it even legal to sell that? There's a lot of cool stuff here, but they're really not giving it away. Like for example, this is, it's a insulator for a hydro line. It's $8. Want an African license plate? Cool. If that works, do you know how much damage I could do with this? <laughs> wow. This place is massive, it just keeps going. There's three stories. I miss you, Harambe. I miss you. Nothing was really jumping at me there, but I kind of enjoyed it, so I think, uh, I think next time I see an antique shop, I'm gonna stop. Okay, we're at the Museum of Flight. It says it right there. It's a bunch of old planes. That looks really comfortable. I want that. This would have been really loud. We're allowed to go inside this goofy helicopter. I almost get the feeling like I'm inside a big septic tank or something like that. The magic happened up here though. Can we get up there? Oh, we'll find out. This guy basically you have to climb up into here and then the seats fold down over the hole that you climb through. It's cool. Can go in this one too. Today we go skydiving again. Just kidding, it's a it's an airplane museum. This is the cockpit over here. Here's the big boy toys. Wow. Okay, now this thing would be wicked quick, but look. Someone left the parking brake off. Come on. Okay, now what we're actually witnessing here is a large plane giving birth to a smaller plane, and that's a, that's a plane-lit. It doesn't, it doesn't have its wings yet, but over time, it will grow and develop into a full-size plane. Just kidding, but in all seriousness, this torpedo is big. It's really big. Check out the end of this plane. Look at the end, you ready? Look at the end. Oh wait, that's not it. Oh, that's not it either. Wow. It's a little crooked. This one's open. You bet I'm gonna jump in there. Cool, you fit like a glove in here. It's all, it's a buttons. This, you gotta switch to, T, to TR for a uh, tread ratio. Make sure you got your uh, defrost on, pilot heat. No, we're okay. We're warm. Uh, rain clearing on. No, it's not. It's not raining. Oh, there's the uh, there's the knob I was looking for. Volume. We gotta turn that music up. Why would I go with normal oxygen when I can have 100% oxygen? Do a barrel roll. Okay, that's enough of that. Look how cute this helicopter is. I want that. It's almost what's in a Subaru. That was neat. There's a flight school next door. People learning to fly. I don't want to fly a plane. Left the museum. It was okay. It wasn't like super exciting. But there's this park called Redwood Park. It's in, just by Surrey. So gonna drive there. Just made a wrong turn, almost went to the border. Um, but I did just stumble across this place called uh, Urban Nature, some Urban Urban Safari Rescue Center, Society. Urban Urban Safari Rescue Society. That's, that's it. Look at the snake skins. Another one. 
It's a skunk. Its name's Febreze. Look at these weird dogs. This guy will bite your toes. Yeah, dude. Work it. You gotta test the water before you hop in. That was a pretty cool place, and uh, it's a rescue center, so they they rescue like all these kinds of exotic pets, um, and that's that's part of their part of the whole learning thing there is they want to educate people that they're not toys, they're animals. So a lot of these pets, people get like a like a turtle or a tortoise, they don't realize how long that they live for. And after a couple years or even months of owning them, they realize they don't they don't want to have to deal with the work and changing the water and stuff. Okay, I'm at Redwood Park. I don't know exactly what's here. My mom just looked it up online and told me to go here, so that's where we are. All I see is a tree house and that's where we're going. This is like a nice little family park. Trees are pretty big. So the history of the park, there was two twin brothers that used to live here and they really liked trees, so they planted a whole bunch of different types of trees. And now there's a whole bunch of different types of trees. I think we're at the tree house. Damn, it's locked. It's a bunch of bird houses. Lots of really gorgeous trees here. Hey, you guys want to know how old this tree is? Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just counting the rings. It's older than 20 years old. That tree looks like the Whomping Willow. Anyways, I think I'm gonna leave Redwood Park. Um, but hey, I got something cool. Something cool to show you guys. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost to the cool place I want to show you guys. Okay, we're here. Do you know where we are? Want to know? Do you guys want to know? This, uh, we're at this cool lake. Just kidding, it's not a lake. It's the ocean. We made it to the ocean. I honestly wasn't sure that she'd make it, but she made it. Yeah, we got this magnificent view. We got, that's actually the United States over there. And then right there, that's the, su that's the sunset. Oh. Okay. That's gonna be it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. The sun's right in my eyes. <laughs>